What's going on everybody? It's Edward here and today we will be reviewing Gears of War 4. I just played through this on PC, so let's just dive right in. So first off, um, I would say that overall the game is okay. You know, it's it, remember it, this is not made by Rocksteady anymore. This is made by Coalition, a new, completely new studio that took on the title from that Microsoft. Um, because the old studio just moved, they're moving on to bigger and better things. You know, the, they made the first three games and now they moved on. This is made by someone completely different, um, but still on the Unreal Engine. And I have to say that, you know, they kept most of what's, you know, really good about Gears of War. Uh, you know, that, that, that kind of cover to cover combat, having a decent storyline, the gore, um, having, you know, most of the iconic weapons, at, also adding some new ones. Um, you know, I was, for the most part, I would say they, you know, they did a pretty decent job overall. I mean, they're obviously, um, this is definitely not the end all to all Gears of War. Like, clearly, Coalition is taking over to make more Gears of War because, you know, if, if you play this yourself, you know that at the end of this, it's n this, is not, this is the beginning of a, essentially another Locust War, right? Um, because, you know, the, the story goes is that... You know, you're no longer playing as Marcus Phoenix. Instead, you are his son, Adam Phoenix. Um, no, not Adam. <laughs> That's the father of Marcus. Is James Dominic Phoenix, or JD. Um, so he, you play as him. He's an officer uh, who, I guess, uh, left the cog because of whatever reasons and, like, to go fight for people. And now he's, like, a freedom fighter sub type of guy. And he's, like, looting little um, settlements here and there. And so... Um, that's his character, and you know, but essentially, at one point or another, throughout their looting, um, they, one of the little villages get attacked by what they assume is some new creature. They don't know what it is. They just call him the Swarm or whatever, and one of the main village's leaders um, is captured, and her daughter, who's part of your team, you, you know, are like, hey, I'll go help you go find your mother so that we can rescue her. And the only way to do that is, of course, to team up with your own pops, Marcus Phoenix, back where he's, like, I guess a recluse or something. You know, he lives in, like, a giant mansion, or at least, like, has a giant mansion, but lives in, like, the small shack on the side for some reason. I don't know why. Um, they never really go into that. But essentially, you know, the four of you as one fire team team up, and now you're going to go f uh, just try to find this... Um, this new race of enemies who they don't call the locusts. They just call them, they keep calling them something different, even though they're clearly locust-like um, and whatnot. But anyway, so they they go find them and um, they eventually find her mother or, you know, eventually, at one point Marcus gets captured, so you got to go rescue him. And then all this crazy stuff happens. And at the end of the, at the, end of the game, you basically... Uh, you you rescue the mother, but you he she gives this pendant to the daughter that is essentially the um, the locust symbol, like their kind of uh, their insignia. So you know, basically, there's all this foreshadowing that um, the girl's grandmother is the old queen of the locusts. Uh, and that's kind of like what they allude to at the end of the game. So there's clearly going to be more games after this. This is definitely not the be um, the end all, right? So, anyways, what did I think overall? Like I said before, it's okay. The only reason I say it's okay because for one thing, the first two acts of the game, all I'm doing is killing robots. Like, what the heck is up with that? Why am I killing robots? Like. It's the last thing I want to do. Like, the whole point of Gears of War when it first came out was, like, it's gritty. It's, you know, you hear you're, you're killing all these, like, uh, monsters who are clearly, like, you know, humanoid. But you're not killing other humans, so you're slicing through them. You know, there's all this gore. Like, you can, if, if you shoot them at a point-blank range with a shotgun, they blow up into pieces. But for the first two acts, that's <laughs> two out of the five acts, 40% of the game. All you're doing is fighting robots, which are lame. Um, and frankly, like, that's ridiculous. Like, why is 40% of the game fighting robots? Like, that just takes completely away from the entirety, like, what Gears of War is. I understand that, you know, it's part of the game. 
or at least it's part of the storyline, right? How they set it up. It's like, first, you know, you're invading these uh, settlements and whatnot. And yeah, they're all, you know, guarded by these robots. And then eventually, you know, the government sends the robots after you. And yeah, I get it. But like, why can't that all be within one act? You know, the rest should be just fighting the hordes of like, of Locust or the Locust Part 2, Version 2. Uh, or whatever you want to call them. But, you know, that's that's really, like, my biggest gripe with this game is that, yeah, I spent 40% of the game fighting robots, which is ridiculous. Um, I really would have rather have skipped all that and just gone straight to fighting all the, the organic pe- uh, organic enemies, you know? So that's, like, because that's really what it's all about. Um, and the story, I think, I don't know how they're going to really develop the story because, you know... Marcus is now a side character. His friends, Cole and Baird, you know, they're they're in the game. Cole and Baird are in the game for maybe like 10% of it. Uh, <laughs> Marcus is in it for most of it, but he's clearly old. You know, he's become a, he's retired. He's like got into gardening or something. Um, he likes tomatoes. <laughs> so, um, wh- whatever. It's gonna mess up my fucking tomato. And then Baird, he's also now he's become like some CEO of some crazy tech organization of that like creates these robots that they're fighting. And then Cole, he's just there. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I mean overall, like like that's that's like there's not much to else to this game. I mean obviously you're you know you're they they have some good like kind of um, sequences where there's. Like quick time events when you're when you're riding up this like crazy elevator shaft and you have to dodge stuff and shoot down stuff. That's pretty interesting. You know they added these mechs at the end of the game where you're just walking around in these giant Gundams basically, and you're just shooting everything with like giant staples, <laughs> which is also really funny because it's literally staple like it's a staple gun. But these like you know construction robots also somehow have a targeting mechanism attached to them, which maybe bare like just threw on before um you know before delivering those mechs but i always thought like but i was like why, why does a construction bot have a laser targeting mechanism on its shoulder that's a little weird uh <laughs> but aside from that uh but I, i'm assuming bear probably just threw him on because he knew he was gonna like need some need some kind of like you know targeting system but then again he also just gave him those staple guns which i'm assuming which I would think like he would just give them like giant machine guns or something instead, but who knows? Maybe he only had time for one or the other. Uh, but anyways, so overall, um, you know, this is the start of like a new trilogy or maybe just a new series in general. Like same way they're starting off like a new Halo, right? Uh, where it's going to be the new, uh, at least like what, six more Halos? I'm assuming they're going to build a lot more Gears of War because they, clearly Microsoft is not done with that franchise. Like there's no way... That they're just gonna dump the franchise and just go to new stuff when they still have such a big um, um, following against uh, with it. The best thing I would say about this game is that it's um, Xbox Anywhere compatible, or I, I think that's what it's called. But basically, you can play on PC or Xbox, and it's interchangeable. So it's not like you have an Xbox version and a PC version. It's one game, so you can play on Xbox One. For like say a three, you know, a, a few days or a few hours, and then you're like, you know, I'm gonna change the PC. You can literally save on Xbox One, and then move to your PC and play the exact same game. Start off where exactly where you left off, or start a new game. And that was probably for me the best thing because apparently my thumb and controller hand um for the xbox controller is not that great and i was just like shooting all over the place but the second i moved on to pc man that precision precision mouse uh aiming and whatnot was so much easier to like fight people or at least like shoot people with and killing enemies like i used to always run out of bullets whenever i played the old like um the old gears of war but with this game, I was not running out bullets at all because I was actually hitting my targets. I didn't have a problem. Um, at least not too much of a problem. Like, the only time I had a problem was, like, sniping because I kept, like, firing early or late or whatever, and I kept missing. But, I mean, those are the only times I really had an issue. Um, but overall, it was still... Uh, that was probably the best thing about it. And that's why I kind of think um, this game is probably going to be... Um, 
this thing is probably going to be pretty good. Um, going forward, this I think the series is going to be pretty interesting. I'm really interested to what they come out with next, because like I mean, obviously they're alluding to the all the new stuff, and yeah, so I'm pretty excited. I and overall, I would give this a a, a B minus C plus. Like if, if I had to give it a grade, B minus or C plus. Uh, but let me know what you guys think. Uh, let me know if, if you guys like Gears of War. Like what I didn't really play the the what's that called the multiplayer because just because I don't really care about multiplayer for Gears of War It's not really a multiplayer type of game. I didn't really play the Swarm or any other of the modes, so I'm really just uh, critiquing based off of the story. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you guys think. Um, give this video a like if you like what what you hear. Here, uh, give it like video. Like the video, comment on the video, subscribe for more. But thanks, guys, for watching. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments. So, yeah, talk to you guys later.